halfway done are. Checking pads and rotors. Pads, huh? Look at them. Look at them parts store pads from two years ago nearly. I need a pad and caliper sponsorship is what we need. You know, so we can throw sparks like all them fancy guys. And watch Hunter smash his hand. Look at that cobalt screwdriver. Oh, turn that around. Turn, turn that around. There you go. So, we've been running most of the year with this, well this chip wasn't this bad, with a chip in the rotor. And they were getting a bit thin so I thought I'd order some. Had to get them from Speedway because they're the hybrid stuff. And Got bearings and seals and oil pump rod for my little motor I'm building and some studs. And then we're gonna take the back apart and check the wheel bearings because I've not checked them this year. So. I really hope these are the right rotors. all right so you know we're over here trying to put them bad boys on the car you know and the old money man driver mechanic ordering dude here decided to order the wrong ones you know so what happens in the life around here, you know? Guess we'll go to something else, you know? We've got to wait a couple of days before. A couple of days is Thursday. We'll have to wait till like Tuesday. Well, technically today's Thursday, so a couple of days would be, well, shipping would be about Monday or Tuesday. All right. Just in case I'll see him next week with a black eye, you know what happened. So since my dumb butt ordered the wrong rotors and I absolutely forgot to check my wheel bearings on the rear, uh, I probably won't have parts till Wednesday or Thursday. So it's sitting here and we have been working on the trailer. Bro, get up off a guy. Come on now. Wait. Ten minutes later and that's all we got. Just, just that little hole. I'm about to need a camera, man. Do not take application, Jaw does not be paid. All right. Got the thing going. Got this going. About 10 minutes later, we finally got it ready. Got it finished. Pull off that old band. Right. There we go. Pop that bad boy on in there. You got yourself a nice little table. That's about it. Okay. 
I've had a few people ask about what kind of trailer I have, what have we done to it to make it better, blah, 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 all that stuff. So this is a 2006 uh, 26-foot homesteader summer or something like that. Champion. By Homestead Trailer. Yeah, there we go. Boy, that was, that, yeah, that was wrong. Anyway, he came finished on the inside. It's got vinyl floor and E-track and uh, 7,500 pound axles that are eight lug with brakes on both axles. It's two by 11 floor. And then we built the tire rack earlier this year because we were literally stacking this stuff in the corner and uh, put an uh, air hose reel, ran that stuff up through the trim inside the trailer where the wiring goes. And then as you've seen a little bit ago, we added this little Harbor Freight flip tray to put our impacts and stuff on instead of having to set them in the floor. And it's the side tray for their five drawer cart. So we put that up there and made a lot of stuff. I'm sure it'll make a lot of stuff easier on us because we're fat anyway and don't like bending over. <laughs> but anyway, had to put the foam padding on the tire rack because we were sure somebody was going to hit their head and poor Sasha hit her head just after we put the put the foam on it and then hunter hit his i don't know a week or so after but we run power back here which goes up through the trim down the wall which i'm going to fix that over the winter and put a power power outlet generator plug in for a house because this thing wasn't wired for power whenever i got it and then we bought this little fortress two gallon air compressor that's super quiet and super fast um they come from harbor freight the toolbox came from harbor freight which it is a solid piece of junk i would not buy it the drawer locks keep jamming and when it jams it bends the drawers so you have to fix all that junk so I would get a US General over the Yukon. I just wanted the white one because it matched the trailer. And then we made risers on the plasma table so that way it would clear the winch when we open the drawers. Uh, put air conditioning in it. It's a mini split, a 110 unit that we got off Amazon. And it works pretty good, but the trailer needs some insulation. And then these cabinets were already here. We just keep stuff we don't use too often in this one. And then this one has tire covers, shocks, springs, tarps, that kind of stuff. Mm. What else, Hunter? Oh, we got this. Personalized boom boom room. We got this, yeah. I mean, I was talking about the the rookie award but yeah we've got a there's a guy i watch on youtube that done this because his air conditioner wasn't adequate either so it divides the trailer keeps the front part of the trailer cool because that thing is not strong enough to cool the whole the whole trailer and we got our fuel jugs, which I'm gonna build a fuel caddy box thing for that. But they don't really move. T-shirts are in those boxes and my race gear's in the bag. And then we have a pop-up tent for when we get caught in all those rainstorms. Daytona floor jack weighs 12,000 pounds, but it's all we've got. And the best fan ever made. And that little fan or little air conditioner is supposed to have a heater in it too, but we'll see how that goes. And then eight foot LED lights from eBay. Yep. 
And then we just done this. We literally have 1,132 people come to the races with us and we were stacking these all over the place. So I got some E-Track from Harbor Freight, you know, since all us racers have to buy the cheap stuff and strapped all these up. Cooler. That's about it, I guess. And a crew chief. Gotta have one of them. I mean, he does a lot of that. But This is exactly what I do. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. Anyway. No racing this weekend. The racing that... Oh, come on, Mark. What, what happened at the races this weekend? Oh, for yeah. the Cumberland Series. A good man was leading and got rained out. That, that's about all I can say. Had a couple buddies that looked pretty good up there. Super proud of them for traveling with a series and competing like they do against some of them high dollar cars. Just goes to show that the competition ain't always what it seems. And saw on Facebook, Robbie Reagan did finish third. So I don't know if they've done the payout that way or what, but I guess we'll see in the next few days. And then we will have parts Wednesday, I guess. Rotors will be here Wednesday. Um, two seals will be here Wednesday. My rear rotors and bearings and seals will come from PPM tomorrow. So I can get the rear end of the car back together and my home joints for my pull bar will be here because they were taking a beating. So that's all we've got this weekend. Uh, We'll try to mash up putting the car back together and the race this coming weekend all in one. And then we're kind of off the following weekend, but it's the Cumberland Series race at Mountain View. I'm probably not going to run it. I really don't want to risk tearing my car up, especially the way I've been beat on lately uh, for a race that I'm not so sure that I would win. And I'm kind of chasing the points championship this year so we'll see how that goes that's all folks <laughs>